Hello, fast forwarding tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts X Division with me, Blue Ankylo. Having a hard time with the music. Uh, audio balance is tricky tonight. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. It's a new day, new live stream. It's not the middle of the night anymore, so Blue's awake. And uh, last episode, last live stream, all that, we completed our third tier 3 medium base in the middle of tier 2. So we did Androns. It was actually not too scary. It had some difficulties, but uh, compared to the civilians, it was, I would say, pretty easy. Uh, and we have some research from it. So we got, you know, some Andron corpses, a couple new uh, weapon types, some Robodogs, Robo Reapers. We'll see if that leads anywhere. But for the most part, I'm not going to uh, spend much more time doing missions in Phase 2. We're pretty far ahead of the curve, I think, honestly. We've got a lot of. We can see them easier from here. We got a lot of a lot of air power. Um, we've got three bases. Like lotuses are like really good tier two bombers. Uh, Lancers are fine. We've got like five bases with two lotuses. We've got a lot of the tier two bombers. Everyone's got the tier two interceptors. Uh, there's still three bases with the old foxtrots, but that's fine. And. Um, I mean, I could build more plasma batteries or something, I guess, if I was really worried. Sure. We'll make, uh... We'll make the, uh, the backup bases super well defended. And if I need to build something else, I'll just tear them down. It's, I figure, you know, probably eight of these should shoot down anything, right? We'll see how I feel later on, but... Well... Oh yeah, two, four, six, seven. Not quite eight, but pretty close. You know, I, I will see how I feel. I just we got some money. I figure better safe than sorry. Tier three is kind of scary for me still, so we might not be able to shoot down terror ships at all for a while. And uh, this is maybe the only way we'll keep our bases that don't have soldiers alive. So hey, that's something. And uh, yeah, let's get to it then. Apparently, I moved something around. Oh, that was just sending the soldiers back from, from the last mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just Fella and, and uh, Kai, I think, sending them home. And, uh, yeah, we built another scimitar, and we did have a request to name it uh, More X's Scimitar. I guess two scimitars have died so far. Or, two of the original line have died along the way, but... We'll just keep adding X's to it till we run out of characters. It was a really good, uh... A really good tank. But the mission it died on was the Androns. It had like a minigun that just, I don't know, just just destroyed the tank. Even with uh, wherever the stat is, with really high kinetic armor, it just chewed it up. So, that was a little bit sad. So we'll build him a new cannon, that's for sure. Alien Vindicator Cannon. So this is one of the big ones. Um, rather than minigun though, it's just one big hit for 80 damage. Two scimitars died for Team B, yeah that makes sense. Yeah, poor scimitars. Alright, so we dis disassembled one of the weapons. We can possibly add that to our uh, deconstruction queue. Yeah, there you go. Bunch of ballistic cores from it. We got a new cannon for our new tank. I still think the AP plasma cannon is the best tank weapon we've got right now, so... I'm happy with that. Okay, so Andron Warriors, totally not Mutons. I only, you know, just to tell you guys a little story, I only even connected this today, and I've played Xenonauts for ages. Um, not every species from the original XCOM is, um, is, has a replica in Xenonauts, but clearly Sectoids and Sizons, um, what were the lizards? Probably lizards were Snake Men. Uh, floaters would be the Herodin, probably. You know, there's Ethereals for something that you'll see later. Um, there's Cyberdisc. You know, there's there's there aren't like large Reapers like like in in the original XCOM, but like Chrysalids turned into Reapers in this game. But point is like there's generally a a, a version of them, but the original XCOM didn't have like robotic men. You might notice that they're kind of green, muscly looking guys with weird colored faces. They're mutons. <laughs> they're just robotic. Anyway. I just thought it was kind of a neat little thing that I never thought of. So, uh, you know, Androns, super strong defenses. Definitely don't try to kill them with chemical or kinetic. Um, energy does work, but it's difficult. 
And fire, I guess, might work, but, you know, fire's kind of tricky. Clearly, at this point in the game, you're supposed to have shock weapons. And our shock weapons, our tier 2 shock weapons, really took them down pretty quickly. So I was happy to say that um, that wasn't so bad. Uh, if you didn't have shock tech y y by tier 3, you'd, you'd be screwed. As we finish these techs, we'll be unlocking more um, disassemblies here. Um, depending on... We really didn't catch very many Robon... Andron... <laughs> Robon. I really only caught... I only killed the one of them? I'm sure we killed a lot of those. I don't know what happened. Oh, I was in the wrong... That was 18 base. What am I thinking? We'll just finish all the research uh, autopsies and then we'll have a look. So, advanced light drone wreckage. Uh, they just keep getting stronger. They're technically weaker to kinetic than normal, like, than the Androns are. But shock works just wa just fine. And uh, energy, I think, still works reasonably. But shock, if you're going against Androns, you've got shock anyway, right? They're still mostly annoying suppressors. The heavy drones, they're kind of scary, though. They do a lot of damage. I don't know what kind of weapon they have exactly. It doesn't say. But uh, they hit real hard. And uh, they have, they're pretty darn tanky. Tank Sinatra. I should have turned on my... Um, I forgot to put the Q on. I have to remember to turn it on or off. When I'm done this episode, I'll, I'll go back to the chatbot Q. And you guys can add names for vehicles again. Even if I don't name them tonight, I can... I can put them in the chatbot queue, and then I'll remember them for later when we have new new vehicles. Medium drones, kind of the same as the heavy, except, you know, I, I don't know, probably... I, I, it's, I have a hard time differentiating them. The heavies maybe do slightly fewer shots with higher damage. These guys are more like riflemen, and then the light drones are like suppressing rapid fire kind of thing. Anyway. Not too scary compared to certain other things we deal we fought with. Like the Robo Rex. Unfortunately, we don't even get a Robo Rex corpse. So we don't really know um, what they're weak against. I'm not sure how to get the Robo Rex research entry. Uh, there might be a way, but as far as I know, defeating them always destroys them, so. We'll see. So Robo Dog Warrior, just the tier 3 Robo Dog. Uh, a bit weaker than the Androns, they do melees, and you get a ton of cores. Also more damage, which definitely helps. But uh, four cores of each type per Robodog. That's pretty darn swell. But still, nothing has unlocked in the research tree. So we've unlocked Andron. There you go. I unlocked lots of... I, we killed lots of... 15 warriors we killed. And 5 Robodogs. That's another 20 of both cores. Really, really valuable. Like, I almost wouldn't mind doing a couple more Tier 3 Andron bases just to stock up on these cores. Because that might be our most efficient way. You know, assuming we don't die. Okay, I think we've queued up all the weapons. Yeah. And then the wreckages are now for... We actually get quite a lot of fiber. So I know we just had to rebuild the scimitar, but we definitely made a profit in fiber here just by winning the mission. That's why I wasn't too worried. So we got like 300, uh, 400, five, six, around 600 fiber or so from, from that mission, dense fiber specifically. Uh, the seeker or the scimitar only cost 240. So pretty good deal. You know, we, we paid some alloys and alenium, but still worth it in my mind. Robo Reaper Warrior. So, uh, they're not going to be a whole lot different than the Tier 2, like the initial phase of the Robo Reapers. They're jerks. Sometimes they have a force shield. Um... I guess I was always having a hard time finding out what these guys were weak against before the last mission. But, um, shock weapon seems to work pretty well anyway. I guess these guys have... I guess... Technically, they're stronger against energy and weaker against kinetic. Compared to androns that are stronger against kinetic and weaker against energy. But still, you mostly just go to shock, I feel mostly. And chemical does... 
has no resistance to chemical death. What? A Robo Reaper dies to chemical? I would never have guessed. I guess we'll have to try a chemical grenade on one. I didn't think that would do anything. It might only be talking about the Force Shield version at the beginning. So the Force Shield might somehow take chemical damage. But I'm assuming once that's over... I don't know. They're kind of a mystery to me. Shock weapons tend to work the best anyway. and you know, They're not really worth disassembling because it's only two alloys. Thornum's around. He's listening in, but he's playing his own campaign now. So chat has to behave themselves. But I'm sure you can pop in and ban someone if he needs to. Alright. And the Andron Terminal. This was the guy that killed the Cat Tankulo, I think. Or, not the Cat Tankulo. The Scimitar. The, uh, the B-Team Scimitar. It, uh... <laughs> you called. <laughs> See, there he is. Um, these guys... It's mostly their weapon. Like, they've got a ton of HP, they've got a force shield, so they've got a second form. They get reaction fire. It should lead us towards improvements to wolf armor. That sounds good. Also, electron technology. So it's, it's important to a lot of tech. But none we can see yet. So unfortunately, for all our hard work, the Andron mission didn't give us any new actual research. Which is a real shame. But, that is what it is. So, with that said, we're just gonna pass some time. Because I want new tech. And we're not gonna get new tech in phase two. Even doing these medium bases, we're not really getting anything super good at unlocked. Couple things here and there, but... It's time to just move along. And yeah, I'm not even going to do the terror missions. Uh, I'll shoot them down and bomb them or whatever, but... Because uh, I won't let my civil... I won't let humans die. But yeah. Basically, I figure the main reason we would do terror missions is for more Lotus ships. And we've... Or ships... Lotus planes. And we've already got ten of them, so... I think when I first played, I said I got like two or so. And... Because we're playing on kind of easier sub-mods, I don't want to overdo it too far. Okay, B-Team, is there anything left for you guys to disassemble? Oh, you've got a power source? Sure, why not? Let's see, um... Can't make Mark II or anything cool for, for that. I might have forgot to disassemble the Thunder weapons because they're in a different category from the first mission. I should check A-Team. We still can't make uh, Mark III axes or katanas until we capture more Tier III Xenomorphs. Um, I guess we'll let uh, B-Team disassemble those Androns. Um, I was just saying how they didn't really need the fibers too badly, but 12 fiber of each type per three hours or two hours is actually not a bad trade-off. But if yeah, if you're trying to disassemble Robo Reapers, I don't know if that's worth it. Other than that, I think... That's all they've got to do. I should check A-Team, because they did all the other uh, base missions from the A-Base, basically. Uh, did I ever find Thunder? I either found them already or we didn't get enough... Look at that, though. Eight energy cores for five pistols. Isn't that crazy? But yeah, we're going to need to find more Praetorians for Fangs. And I think there's a new form of Queen that we haven't actually captured yet. That uh, probably gives Fangs as well. But that's like just a generic starting Queen. Nah, I would might as well disassemble. Oh, I was going to check everybody, uh... Because we've done a couple missions since the last time I looked, in the rag bag, there should be... Okay, we didn't have any power sources, but the power sources are not bad. Free Alenium. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all we're going to do for now. 
we're pretty much done disassembling anything that I'm worried about. And, uh... I was hoping I'd find some more antimatter cores hiding somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's it. I'm not gonna add anything else. Let the time go. Other than what I've started already. And time marches on until the aliens attack. We've got a straight corvette, a light shuttle, a terror battleship. And some interceptors. That might be everything. Alright. I'm not sure why the Lotus hasn't rearmed in like five days, but whatever. Okay, so catching this UFO, because it's a shuttle, will be kind of tricky. Uh, we've had pretty good luck, but they're fast. Apparently there are more interceptors over here. I will at least micromanage fighting the interceptors over land, because that's one of the few ways we'll get some alenium and alloys without doing real missions. It's kind of a... Not a, not a cheat or nothing, just kind of a nice little perk. Okay, once the interceptors are done, we'll launch the Lotus to deal with him. Also, there's just UFOs everywhere. Okay, so he's just letting them come at him. The idea here is to shoot them down over land. To give us, you know, some six Aleniums, not bad. Same thing over here. And that's all the disassembling we're doing. Shoot them down, no big deal. Uh, these guys, though, I don't really care. We could we could shoot them down over land just to get a little bit of cash for, for bombing them, but are, we got lots of money. Alloys and Alenium are far more important than another 10,000, 20,000 cash dollars. Okay, so unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, we do still need to do um, these types of missions manually. We cannot auto-battle terror battleships. I don't think you'll ever be able to auto-battle terror battleships. But hey, it's good practice because, you know, the more of these kind of battles you get good at before you get to phase 3 or 4, the better. Because once you're in phase 3 or 4, man, I don't even really know how you're supposed to win some of the air battles, to be honest. Even with easy air game, it's too much for me. I tried to slow down number 3 so these guys could catch up. Because they're kind of split up a little bit more than I was hoping. Of course, I slowed them down too far. Come on. Oh, boy. Alright, number one. Uh-oh. Well, that didn't work. I wonder if they can just, uh... Ramming speed it. Technically, yes. Only because we're on fairly easy game, I think. Fairly easy air game. That would have been a, a mistake for sure if I was playing on uh, standard difficulty. The, the UFOs have like half HP or something. Alright, so let's launch a couple Lotus. We will need to deal with this guy as well. They really gave us quite a lot of... Uh, Quite a lot of UFOs this way. Oh, that's the shuttle we can't quite catch. Once more of our aircraft are refueled, we'll be able to pin it down a little bit better. Alright. So we've done this mission a couple times. The trick is to not get hit by the purple lasers for the most part. It doesn't always work. We 
You gotta be going fast as you can, and at a... Well, you know, a fairly perpendicular angle. Good. Did not get hit. We want to keep our arc just in range of the UFO. So that we don't lose our target lock, basically. Apparently we lost our target lock. Okay, that did not go totally away that the way I wanted it. I think I stopped turning. It, there, there's got to be some sort of mechanic where once you stop making a turn, it you just go fast in a straight line and then it takes a while to start banking again or something. Just kind of a weird thing. Anyway, two more torpedoes should get it. We might take a hit here. We actually still did not. One second to Plasma Torps. We actually missed them. Okay, I messed it up a little bit. The Dance of the Terror Battleship. If we hit them with a couple Hyper Missiles, that'll probably do too. Yeah. The little multi-explosions. Whoa, we got... <laughs> Something nailed us, but, uh, you know, we had 50 Hyper Missiles, so those guys do okay damage, too. Even if you can't get a Torpedo Lock. Oof! <laughs> Duke lost too many points! Don't worry, you'll probably get them back. You must be right at the... right at the edge of a new rank. Interesting how that one showed first. <laughs> we'll figure... Well, maybe I need to do some tweaking to that. Anyway. There's an announcement that uh, keeps track of people who's changing Ankylo ranks. I figured it'd be appreciated. Let's try to... Quarantine this guy. Oh, he's gonna dodge! I could have I could have probably microed better there. I I mean I didn't try at all really. Alright, we did catch the shuttle. No science for you. Uh, this guy's not flying towards land, and I don't have the patience here. So let's, uh, let's just try to shoot him down. Oh, we're out of fuel. That actually wouldn't work. I guess we'll try to get him over, over land. <laughs> Didn't work. Whatever. Because I kind of, I really want to get to phase three today without spending an hour just doing this. Let's even just all. Just wanted to save a little bit of time, that's all. Well, that'll teach me. Trying to use auto resolve. Get you killed. This time it's 100%. <laughs> Alright. Moving along. Oh, by the way, all of those fighters we shoot down over land. We could be repurposing them to our own, you know, we could, we could, we could turn them into our own types of aircraft. Or, and this is, this is kind of insane to be honest. They're actually worth a fair amount of money and we've got 61 of them. Want some money? Okay, we're even richer. This is why we're not doing missions for a little while. We got too much money. Hey, I built all those plasma batteries. That's what we're spending our money on. Believe in plasma. I wonder how much it takes to upgrade them to Goss or uh, uh, Pulse Tech. Anyway, we'll fill our bases up a little bit more. Why not? Why not? Batteries for days. See, this guy... What do you think? Should we let him try? 
I'll, I'll save scum it just in case. But I'm kind of curious if all those plasma batteries would work. Alright, so we're going to have to spend a fair while dealing with these uh, UFO waves here before we get to before we can get to t tier 3. They're definitely, you can tell by the name, they're definitely still uh, tier 2. How dare you save scum? It's mostly just to test out our batteries. You know, I could shoot it down, but I'd like to see if the batteries work. They're classically terribly accurate in uh, in the original Xenonauts and the original... So say they all, yeah. But you guys remember, right? Those kind of d base defense batteries miss all the time. Okay. Just shoot it down. Ooh, that's actually pretty bad. I I wasn't paying attention. It's a light cruiser with landing ships. <laughs> Um, it's just for research. Maybe we'll just let him do his research. It's, it's fine. Or wait, no, that's this one. He's trying to build a new base! We can't let him build a new base! That's even worse! Alright, I trust in the Lotus. It says 100%, but, uh... Let's see how we do here. We're going to take some damage from the landing ships. My plan here is to fire two torpedoes at, at each landing ship. There, we just launched two. Now we're going to switch to the other one. And we launched those two. Now we're going to disable torpedoes for a second. And just get a bit of distance. That was not enough! Okay. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Do I want them to make a new base? No. It's just too grindy right now. Make sure they're targeting this guy. And then just fly. So we launched our third torpedo. We're going to try to launch our last torpedo on the other one. Uh, we didn't quite launch it. Now we did. And then try to stay out of range of the... The cruiser, at least. Okay. This hasn't worked perfectly by any means, but... Escort's dealt with. Now we need to get behind it if we can, and use... Because we used all our plasma torpedoes, now we gotta go down to hyper missiles, and it's... Much shorter range. Okay. He, he can only fire that big one pretty uh, rarely. Pretty, pretty big cooldown. Looks like we should be good here. Slow it on down. Get in nice and close. These things fire super fast. Okay, we were taking some plasma damage, or, you know, blaster damage, but we're good. How many bases can we have? Uh, however many we currently have. You, you count all the green lights. That's how many we're allowed to have. Anyway, good mission there. Lotuses are strong. It actually... We could do a base defense mission with the C team. That would be kind of interesting. We could definitely shoot it down. Like, make no mistake. Uh, I'm going to put a save here. But we've got the Corsairs to take out the Escorts and the Lotus to take it down. Uh, I am going to make a save just for science. But maybe we'll do this. Just because we haven't seen a base defense ever. And it's still possible... How many batteries do we have in C-Team? Okay, we've only got one battery at C-Team. It'll probably be a base... I mean, I'll, I could do a base defense mission. Mostly just because we've never seen one. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay with it. We'll see what happens. The future tubers might enjoy it. That's true. Gotta think about the future tubers. Alright, base under attacked. UFO attacked. 
Disembarking troops at Indochina base number three. This would be a problem if it was an undefended base, because undefended bases, uh, well, they, uh, they just get taken over immediately. But our one plasma battery did miss, like I said, they always miss. <laughs> and therefore, we must equip defenders. Future tubers, I will see you next episode. It's been 30 minutes already. This will take a little while to actually gear up and then do. I'll see you next episode for a base defense mission. Ooh boy. That's kind of kind of interesting. Alright, see you guys shortly.